People feeling inspired today to do just that. And while politicians and other dignitaries attended the service, people like you and me also showed up to pay their respects. CBS 46's Ashley Thompson live tonight with how Lewis was remembered from folks who were outside the church. Ashley. Rick, the service was closed to the public because of COVID-19, but hundreds of people gathered outside of the church to watch this historic service on a jumbotron. This area was packed with people coming to say thank you and goodbye. A final farewell to a civil rights hero. He's a hero. I don't think he's just an American hero. I think he's a hero to the world. I appreciate the fight for our freedom. Although the public couldn't go inside Ebenezer Baptist Church, they watched Congressman John Lewis's memorial service right outside of it. The celebration of life ceremony was streamed on this large screen steps from the front door. Without his good trouble, his sacrifices, there's no telling where we would be today. Where would we be without the man who spent his life getting into good trouble? There's not enough words to say how grateful how grateful I am for the honorable Congressman John Lewis. An emotional homegoing service for an icon. Nothing could keep these mourners from witnessing. Kimberly Johnson brought her kids. I want them to know who he is. I make them watch videos, read books about him. So this is this is their history now. The hot sun, the thick humidity, and the threat of rain, no problem. Whether it rains, storms, or whatever today, I can sit here in a little bit of rain when he got his skull bashed in for rights. The boy from Troy who made it his life's mission to fight for racial equality can now rest. The world he leaves behind forever indebted. She said we don't learn about it in school and I just want to know my legacy and get to stand up for my people and my color. But to at least spend a moment to recognize a person who has done this selflessly for not just us but for the whole world. And this is the very least I could do. And the crowd continued to grow throughout the service, and it was at its largest when President Obama spoke. The crowd out here really going through a range of emotions, laughing and crying, all of them here to send off a hero. Live in Atlanta, Ashley Thompson, CBS 46 News.